I think that uh, in our society that has lost its future and uh, you cannot have a civilization without planning for a future because this is what a civilization is for and about. You right? mean it's in the Nietzschean uh, sense of the death of a higher value? Uh, no, it's basically uh, a civilization is the thing which makes you uh, build a cathedral over 500 years. It's something that allows you to act on long-term plans. It's something that allows you to organize things in such a way that your grand-grandchildren will have a way of living. And we have given up on that. Our future is changing much more rapidly than our models of the future. And so we have stopped tracking the future. But what we can track now is that the, there is not much future left possibly. At least we don't see how it can play out well. We don't have strategies to deal with the existential problems that our future is bringing. We realized that the summer is awkward. That's uh, one of the worst summers that we ever had. But we also uh, realized that this is going to be one of the coolest summers of the next hundred years. We are unable to imagine what the summer of 2025 will be like. And when we think about it, we are terrified because we don't uh, prepare for it. We don't have ways for dealing with something that is worse than the status quo. What does that have and to this, do with spirituality? So basically, we live in a world that has lost its future. And as a result, we have lost our culture. And so our spirituality, our innate need for being part of a culture that is giving rise to a sentient civilization is, has become a phantom limb. And that's why people are drawn to superstition, to, uh, to, to feel that phantom limb. So this phantom limb attaches itself to ideas of a conscious universe or of uh, immaterial deities that uh, care about you in some magical way. And uh, this is all, of course, bullshit. This is, uh, this is really the expression of that phantom limb. The thing that is, is real is this is life on the planet. It's the ecosystem and it's our part in the ecosystem and it's our civilization that organizes us as part of that ecosystem. And uh, if we cannot maintain that, then everything becomes meaningless and we notice this loss of meaning.